Sylvia, you're going to be talking to one. I, I have been so happy to call this gentleman a friend for many, many years. What he does for, oh, look, the state, the city, the community is, is just unparalleled. And he's still at it. And I won't even tell He told me how old he is, Sylvia. Don't ask him. But he nearly crushed my hand with his handshake this morning. Jesse White with you. Okay. You know what, Mike? The love is mutual because Jesse White, who is joining us now, was just telling us how long he has known Mike Kaplan how long he's loved Mike Kaplan. By the way, today's Mike Kaplan's birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Mike. Yes. How about that? Happy what they birthday. say, you're the man. You're the man. White. Exactly. Amazing. Okay, Jesse White himself. Of course, you were our treasurer forever. He was also at one time, many times, the most favorite popular politician in the state of Illinois. He is here now. He started the Jesse White Tumblers, which we see at parades, halftime shows. It's just amazing to watch, isn't and it, Jake? We, uh, we've been just geeking out with them all morning. Look at this. Just, mm -hmm. just let the shot roll. They are absolutely incredible. We're so psyched that they are joining us for Orange Friday. Our former Secretary of State. We yes. say former, but in I our said, hearts, yes. he is our Secretary of State. Mr. Jesse White. Mr. Yes. White, thank you so much for joining us, sir. Good, yeah, to, good see to see you, you Sylvia. Good Secretary you, of State. I said treasure. Secretary of State, you are so amazing. Let's talk about these tumblers for a minute. What in the world gave you the idea to do this? I taught for the I taught school during the day, worked for the park district at night, was asked to pull the gym show at the Rockwell Garden Housing Project, my ex is the Rockwell Garden Field House. And I went gym show in December 1959, came to this program, was 65 years old, who had over 18,500 kids and only 20 have gotten themselves in trouble with the law. It's been after the combat juvenile delinquency. Wow. What does it mean to you? You said 65 years you've been doing this. What does it mean to you, not just when you meet the kids that you're working with today, but when you meet the generations of people who's, you know, my my grandkids have done this, my kids did this. What does it mean to you when you see generations of Jesse White? It makes me feel that I've done something right in life. And I believe that when you get it, you give it back. And you must do something good for someone every day. That's how I run my life. You're so inspirational because Jake and I were just sitting out here talking. It's interesting because, of course, you have retired as Secretary of State, but you have not retired. You are still keeping busy. Tell everybody what you're yes. doing. Sylvia, I work, uh, I work harder now than ever before. I, I have a center called the Jesse White Community Center at Fieldhouse at 412 West Chicago Avenue. I'm there every day making sure that our young people are in school on time every day, have one aim in mind, that's to get the best education possible, put something between their ears, every other scalp when that happens, we in society of the winners, love their fellow man and woman, stay away from drugs and gangs, and uh, remember, do something good for someone every day. When they hear that, they know that uh, I'm on the right track. Wow. You know, we've been watching the video live all morning long, and I'm just looking at what these kids are doing. Our jaws are on the floor. Can you just give me a little bit of a taste of, like, what does it take to do that? I mean, like, that's that's not an easy thing to yeah. do, what these kids are doing. No, if you uh, have not been trained properly, you can end up in the, oh, yeah. Yeah. one of the local hospitals. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. These kids are or, or, or Burke Cemetery. But, but they, they are <laughs> trained properly. They, they make it look easy, and, and we know that it's not. We work hard to give these young people an opportunity to put some between the ears every day, every day on the scalp. By the way, I should tell you this. I've taken these kids all over the world. Zagra, Croatia, Belize, Israel, China, Tokyo, wow. Japan, Hong Kong, Honolulu, wow. Hawaii, wow. Big Ten, NBA, NFL, the list goes on and on. You have so many personal stories you can tell. What is one particular story about working with the tumblers that really stands out in your mind that makes you say, okay, this is worth it? When you realize the fact that you've had over 18,500 kids to come to the program, wow. Wow. and only 20 have gotten themselves into trouble with the law, it leads me to believe that I'm on the right track and that it's important for us to do all we can to help these young people grow tall the street and make this world a better place for all of us. You said 18,000? 18,500. 18, that is amazing. We are so honored to have you here on our plaza this morning. Jesse White, keep doing what you do. Uh, this man is working harder than yeah. ever, and we so appreciate you. Well, I'm going to continue to do that as long as there's life within me. Well, there's a lot we of love life. You for it, sir. Yes, we do. Well, thank you so thank much. You, Good to thank, see you. Thank you. Thanks for what you do, too. Oh, thank you. Well, we.